Hey everyone, I'm Holly Wingerski with Suburban Canine. If you're interested in getting your dog off leash trained or you have a dog or puppy that are still exhibiting naughty in-home behaviors, today I'm going to be talking a lot about short leashes. Short leashes are an awesome training tool to utilize with your dog for a lot of different reasons. So the ones that we have here, we have our leather short leash that we sell as a company and also our wire short leash that we sell as a company. We often call them short tabs. So there's a couple different perks between each of them and I'm gonna get into that a little bit about today and how to utilize it for training your dog. So first and foremost, the leather short leash. I love this short leash. I recommend this one to any client that has a larger dog that they want to be able to do off leash stuff with them. Also, the nice thing about leather, it's nice and soft on the hands and this is a pretty solid length. Sometimes short leashes could be a little bit too long. So this is a perfect amount where if you're walking your dog at your side, they'll stay right next to your heel position. It's not giving them too much give and you know, it works out really well. Um, a downside to this one, of course, is it could be quite heavy for any smaller dog. And also a lot of dogs like the feeling of chewing leather. So if you have a dog that is super chewy, I probably would not recommend getting a leather short leash. The next one I want to show off, of course, is our wire short tab. So we actually make these as a company. It's really awesome, actually. We like to call this our true proof version. If I have any client that says that our leather tab is tasty to their dog or the dog is a heavy chewer, I often will recommend our short leash that we make because it has a nice little loop-de-loop. -loop. It's perfect for clients to quickly grab their dog, issue a correction, or also just start healing them to calm them down. Of course, like I mentioned before, this one can still get quite heavy if you do have a really tiny dog and it's almost like they walk like a penguin. So one recommendation I often give to clients if your dog hasn't grown into a short leash yet is go to Home Depot or Lowe's and they often sell these brass clips and you could just use a brass clip as a short leash. It's still something that you could grab really quickly. You're not searching for their collar on their neck. So that's usually what I'll recommend if for some reason both of these are too heavy for your dog. You know, another option too is cutting a leash, but I usually like recommending the two that we sell. Now let's get into why short leashes are good for training. So there's a lot of reasons. Um, when we first start working with a client or any client that has a dog that's exhibiting naughty behaviors in the home, what we often recommend is having the leash and collar on for the first you know, week or two, depending on how naughty their dog is, of course. Once they graduate from having the leash and collar on, it's really difficult to just take off a leash and then the dog has freedom and they still will exhibit those naughty behaviors because they feel free. Oh, I can go do this now. I no longer have a leash on. It's almost like the leash puts them in a training mode. So a short leash, of course, is a good in-between phase where it's not like they're necessarily completely free of the leash. There's still something for you to grab if needed. So an example is front door. Say you have a dog that gets super excitable at the front door. It's definitely important to be able to calm your dog down if needed, grab them and correct them if they're jumping on your guest excessively. So with a short leash on, it gives you a lot more leverage with your dog rather than them running mayhem, doing whatever it is that they want. Another example that I like utilizing a short leash as well, I have a lot of clients that want their dogs off leash trained. So off leash training is, you know, of course advanced. So they have to be good with the leash and collar on, then I recommend short tab and collar on, and then I recommend eventually nothing, depending on their goals. So the short tab is a really good tool to use because as you get to that phase of using the short leash, it's a lot easier for you to still give them corrections if they're not listening to you outside versus having to chase them down, use their scruff, use their flat collar or whatever else. And this will give you a good in-between phase of training where it's like, hey, I'm not completely free. I still have something on me where I know I need to listen to mom, dad, or whoever is working with them. 
Overall, short leashes are an amazing tool to continue to use throughout your dog's life. It's not just for when they're young because you could use it for such a wide variety of reasons, whether that be in-home naughty behaviors, getting your dog off leash trained, or just having it something on them where you can control them a lot better. I always like to keep one handy in my car just in case I don't have a leash on hand because then I just clip it up to my dog and I'm still able to take them on a walk. If you have a short leash you super duper recommend, definitely drop a comment below. And I hope you enjoyed this video today on short leashes and training.